Well, joining us in the studio is Sophie Walker, who finished fifth on three over and is the first alternate. And also with us is MC Mehmet and Annabelle Dimmock, who are at qualifying as well. So, Sophie, if we start with you, first of all, how do your preparations differ then if you don't know for sure if you're going or not? Yeah, it's a difficult one. I've, I haven't had my first round. I was pleased to even get a first alternate. I'd shoot minus four to get into that position. The quality of the field suggests that I have a high chance of getting in. I think Georgia Hall got in last year, yeah. the first alternate. So I'm going to have a look at flights, uh, maybe look at caddies and see how it goes in the next week. The uh, USGA lady said the chances were quite high, but obviously I'd have just liked to have been in the field automatically. Yeah, fingers crossed, and it's the expense as well, isn't it? You've got to think about it too. Annabelle, you had to retire. What happened? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I pulled my Achilles um, a few days ago in the gym. Mm. It was one of them ones where I so badly wanted to go out there. You know, my coach was telling me before I went out for the first round that I shouldn't have, um, and it just got too painful by the end of the sec like the first round, so I couldn't go back. I was gutted because obviously I was in the mix as well. Uh. Um, so I was gutted, but you know, there's always another tournament. You're like pushing through though, don't you? Yeah. You've got, to, you've got to try it. Um, NC, so. The whole point of it, obviously, was to try and qualify for the mm -hmm. US Women's Open. It's live on Sky. Yeah. Who should we be watching out for? Dark horses as well as favourites. Yeah, no, I think we've got, um, you know, I think European players are doing fantastically at the moment. Um, you know, Mel Reed, Katrina Matthews, uh, Lynn Grant, who was the only um, player to shoot uh, under par, which was fantastic. Um, but I think also... Um, the Swedish players are doing great at the moment. Uh, they've won the last two majors. We have Anna Nordquist and Penilla. Um, but I think Lydia Ko as well, she won recently. Um, she's had a bit of a break from a win, but I think hopefully that win will give her a bit of confidence. Um, so yeah, I think maybe the European players will do well. And, and also it just really highlights just how well uh, European women are doing generally. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that golf sixties is just kind of a way to highlight how well the women's game's going? I actually went this year. I didn't, yeah. didn't go last year uh, and as soon as the girls got announced I took, I took a much bigger interest in it. Uh, and I went down there, went on the Saturday which was probably the best day to see it. It was just really nice to see them performing so well and everybody was talking about Charlie. It was really nice to see somebody, a woman, being you know, the part of the box office. Yeah. And I think they handled themselves great. Yeah. What do you guys think about Mixed? I think it was so good and I think that the people that played in it were amazing. Um, the selection was really, really well done, I think, because yeah. As well, like the girls, I thought they were going to win. I like did. I honestly mm. thought they were going to win, and it was a shame they got knocked out. But they got knocked out by the people that won. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it was which is amazing. Yeah. I think the girls held their own. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, and yeah. even more than that, do you know what I mean? They hit the ball so far. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just quickly, Inti, how do you yeah. feel about a, a fast play like that? Yeah, no, I think it's brilliant. I mean, it's a lot easier um, to watch and also for the spectators live. Um, it doesn't take as much time. Um, and it's a lot more social and enjoyable. Um, and I think everyone can really get involved when it's just nine holes. Mm. Well, the US Women's Open gets underway. In just over two weeks' time, you can see the first round from Shore Creek on May the 31st. It's live on Sky Sports Mix.